Spider, 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 please, these misties riders. Bro, it is hot as hell today, no cap, bro. Spider! What's good, man? It's Sean Spider. Hey, get off my pillow, nigga! Damn. What's good, man? It's Sean Spider, man. You know what I'm saying? Back with another video, bro. And so, uh, you know what I'm saying? I don't even know how I'm gonna title this video for real, you know what I'm saying? I just, I, I just wanted to hit the camera, hit go, talk about shit, some shit that's been on my mind, right? Um, so as you know, man, if you don't know, I love music. I'm a music lover. You know what I'm saying? And naturally, I'm in spaces where with other music lovers who, 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 who also love talking about music, right? I'm in these spaces. It's not a common for me in these spaces. A great, a great place to do that is my Discord server. You know what I'm saying? We be talking about music, sports, nigga food for your hungry ass nigga. We be talking about a lot of shit. We very diverse. Uh, link, link is in the description of this video, right? But, like I said, I'm in spaces where we talk about music, right? And I just been noticing some things, some things that's been on my mind. Like, there's no way this nigga thinks like this. And I just had to, had to make a video about some things that I've, and, and music discourse that I've noticed. And I, I, I had to get him off my chest, dog. You know what I'm saying? I don't think I'm even going to edit this video for real. This, this is me just chatting, chatting to you, nigga. So the first thing, the first thing I want to talk about, and I done said this on TikTok like two, three times. Each time there's always some dickhead ass nigga in my comments trying to cook me. And the, the, the thing that I want to get off my chest is lyrics are the least important part of music. Lyrics are the least important part of music. Every time I say this, I feel like... I feel like 25% of the people agree with me, the other 75, they don't agree with me. And I, and bro, if you, if, 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 if you have a functioning brain, bro, like you literally just think about it for a minute. Just think about it. It makes sense. Like I'm not just bullshitting right here. It makes sense. Just think, right? Look at all the charting songs, the big ass songs, number one hit songs. What nigga gonna say? Fuck you mean. Fuck you mean. That's a great example. This nigga gunning out over here, spitting poetry. We, you know what I'm saying? He just saying some shit. Nigga said, QP, QP ski. That shit was catchy as hell, right? It was no double entendre, no quadruple entendre. Nigga went number one. Lyrics are the least important part of music, dog. You don't need to have great lyrics to make a good song. You don't need to, you don't need to have good lyrics to make a good song. You don't even have decent lyrics to make a good song. You don't. You can get away with mid-ass lyrics. Can you get away with mid-ass production and make a good song? You potentially could. But it's, it's, it's a lot harder than mid-ass lyrics, right? Let me, let, me, let me give you a scenario. Let me give you a hypothetical. Rapper A. This nigga. This nigga's a, a lyrical-ass rapper. Nigga, he go crazy on the mic. When, a, when, he, when he hop in the studio, that shit get on fire. You know what I'm saying? He got quadruple entendres, calusi, la cushi entendres. I don't know what the fuck I just said. But he got some crazy bars, right? And like, he, he a great storyteller, right? He hop on a song. And he going crazy, nigga. Craziest story of all time. Whole time, niggas rapping over a beat that song like this. Let's look at rapper B. Rapper B, this nigga... This nigga dumb as shit. <laughs> nigga, he, he <laughs> nigga, nigga is stupid. He failed PE, right? You know what I'm saying? He he can't rap for he can't really rap for real, but he got good ass flow. He know how to flow on a beat. And he got good ass production. But he don't be saying shit for real. He don't he don't say shit. You know what I'm saying? He talk about shooting at the ops, messing with hoes, and popping perks. That's all nigga talk about. But he got good ass production. Like I'm talking Metro, Wheezy. Pierre all hopped on his beat to make it for the nigga. And it sounds fire as hell. But he's not saying shit. He's not saying shit. Which rapper are you going to listen to? You going to listen to the rapper that's, that, that's, that, that's rapping over some shit like... <laughs> Fuck no. You going you gonna to listen to the shit that sounds good. And to me, dog... The, and, and obviously, people listen to music differently. Most importantly for me is sound. It has to sound good. I don't care. I don't care if you're saying some crazy shit. If it doesn't sound good, I'm not listening. Right? 
But I just think like with that scenario, with that hypothetical, I just gave you, if you're being for real, you're going to listen to Rapper B. You're not listening to some bullshit. You did, this is what your thoughts on, the, on Rapper A going to be. Damn, he was saying some crazy shit, but that production was ass. I'm sorry, I can't come back to that song. That's what your exact thoughts are going to be. That's what you're going to say in the comments of the YouTube video. You know what I'm saying? When you go on Twitter, that's what you're going to say about the song. You're not going to say, damn, this is a great song. I'm going to play this shit every day. You're not. You know what I'm saying? I feel like that scenario just proved that lyrics are the least important part of the music. You don't need good, you don't even need decent lyrics to make a good song, bro. You just don't, especially not in today's music. You know what I'm saying? Next thing I want to talk about. Uh, I feel like that first take, this is not even a hot take type video. But that first take, it shouldn't be hot. It's just misunderstood take. It's a misunderstood take. The, the next shit I want to talk about, the, the, it's actually two things. They sort of go hand in hand. Is favorites equals best? Let me explain. I know you're a little, confu a little confused right now. And don't just say something to be politically correct or more accurately, musically correct, right? Let me explain. All right, boom. The, these two go sort of hand in hand with each other. Let me start with the first one. Favorites equals best. In music, it is a pure subjective genre. Like a, it, everything about music is subjective. That's one of the reasons why it's so cool. Because like when you're talking about sports, you're talking about the fucking NBA. We can have different top tens in the NBA, but we're all going to have somewhat of the same top 10. Shea, Gillis, Alexandra, SGA, the GOAT, Luka, Jokic, Giannis, LeBron, niggas like them, right? We're all going to have sort of the same players, but they're just going to be different orders, and you might have a different player, but for the most part, it's all going to be the same, right? The thing about music, I love a music nigga, we're not all going to have the same list. It's going to hop from different shit to different shit to different shit. And it's, it's amazing. The reason that is, is because music is subjective. We listen to music differently. We like things differently. Like, at the end of the day, it's purely subjective. There is no objectivity. The only, the only objectivity you can find in music is like streams and, and how much they sell first week. Shit like that. But at the end of the day, that doesn't really matter. So, boom, what I mean by favorite equals best, whoever your favorite rapper is, that's who I believe you should think the best rapper is. F fuck rapper. Best artist is. If you think Ken Carson is the best rapper in the world, fuck that. If you think Ken Carson is your, if you, if Ken Carson is your favorite rapper in the world, favorite rapper of all time, you should think that nigga's the GOAT. You should. Do I agree with that shit? Fuck no. But do I think you should believe that? Yes, I do. It, it, like, it, it doesn't make sense for you to be like, bro, Ken Carson is my favorite artist of all time. But not going to lie, I think ASAP Rocky is better. That doesn't make any logical sense. The thing about music, we don't have stats to look at. We can't see that young thug is leading the league in points per game. We can't see that Lil Uzi Vert is averaging 12 assists per game. We can't see that Eminem and French Montana are leading the league in turnovers and are pure shit at the game. We can't see that. It's all subjectivity. For instance, me, young thug is my favorite artist of all time. You're never, ever, ever, ever going to catch me putting a single soul above that nigga. Not Kanye West. Not Future, not Michael Jackson, not Prince, not the Be You're not going to catch me putting a single soul over, over Young Thug. And that's how I believe it should be. Because at the end of the day, favor equals best. It's pure subjectivity. You know what I'm saying? Now, that doesn't mean like it's a good take. Obviously, you expect niggas to disagree with you, but at least stand on what you believe in. You know what I'm saying? Now, to the musically correct thing. Don't just say she's to be musically correct. This sort of goes hand in hand with the shit I just said. You know what I'm saying? Because niggas will be like, in my Discord, there's this nigga. He does this shit all the time. He's like, bro, I like, I like such and such more than, more than old dude, but I think old dude is better. 
Like that just doesn't make sense. I feel like you're just trying to be safe. You're just trying to be safe. I just seen in my Discord, nigga said, uh, and, and this is the shit. This this is the shit that we need more of. Nigga said Glock Nine or some shit, some underground nigga. Nigga said Glock Nine is better than Drake. That's the type of shit we need to see. That's the type of shit we now. Do I do I do I do do. do, do do I do I agree with that shit? Fuck no. I don't like that nigga. For real. You know what I'm saying? He cool. He ain't better than Drake now. But like, that's the type of shit. Cause if, if he was being musically correct, if you wanted to be safe, you'd be like, fuck no. Drake is better than Glock 9. Basically, music correct is, is just taking like the safer option. Like it would be like me saying Michael Jackson is better than Young Thug. That's the safer option. It would be like me saying Tupac is better than Young Thug. That's the safer option. That's a bullshit option. Nigga, be yourself. You know what I'm saying? On your takes, dog. The musically correct options, you know what I'm saying? That, that's some bullshit, dog. I'm trying to, it may seem like I, I'm encouraging ignorance right now. If that's the case, I might be, but it's just like, and that's the things I hate seeing in music discourse because it just doesn't make sense to me. I feel like the musically correct thing goes hands in hand with Fairy Goes Best. That's why I put them together. But like, you're never, ever, ever, ever gonna catch me saying, Ever, ever catching me putting an artist I don't listen to for real or an artist I don't like for real in a top 10 all time list? You're not. You want to hear my top three rappers of all time? Young Thug at one, Future at the two, I got Kendrick at the three. And granted, I don't listen to Kendrick as much as other niggas, so it may seem like I'm, I'm being a safer option. But the thing is, I love Kendrick music. I really do. But you just have to be in a certain mindset for Kendrick. Think about Future and Young Thug. You can be in any mindset. You can play them niggas. You got to be in a certain glasses on, chessboard on the table, thinking about your life shit type beat to listen to Kendrick. I'm not always in that mood. But I do love Kendrick. And his shit is good as hell. That's why I got him at the three. That's my big three. And I feel like, you know what I'm saying? Because I'll be seeing young niggas do this shit. Niggas be putting Tupac, top. Top five. Niggas can't name five Tupac songs, nigga. Fuck is we doing? So, bro, favorite equals best, dog. Just remember that shit. Music is subjective. Lyrics is the least important part of music. Don't say shit to be just musically correct. You know what I'm saying? But, hey, that, that's all I had to say, man. I just wanted to chat for real. Whatever this is at, I'm, I'm here for real. Did I say that already? I hope I didn't. Hey, like, comment, subscribe, bro. I'm probably... Hey, you're going to see more, more of this, ho, for real. I ain't going to lie. You're going to see more of this, bitch, for real. I ain't going to lie. Hey, man. Appreciate y'all. I mean, y'all just about to ask you later. Hee!